Welcome to a new tutorial in which we will see the application of the Butterworth filter in Blender on a free mocap capture. To be able to use this filter, you must have Blender version 4 or higher. Well, here we have one capture that has not been filtered, not even with the free mocap filter. We can see that the hands and fingers markers have a little tremor, is irregular. So, in order to apply the Butterworth filter, first, you select the markers whose movement curves want to filter. Then go to the animation view. Here choose the graphic editor and there you can see the curves. Then, with the keyframes of the curves selected, press key, smooth and Butterworth smooth. By moving the mouse you can see how the curves are being filtered by the cutoff frequency. Let's select a low frequency to notice the effect. Here you can change some other parameters such as the filter order. Checking the animation we see that the movement is smoother. But now the markers have a sort of elastic behavior, making the virtual bones distance to vary in each frame. To remedy this, we can use a function of the free mocap adapter add-on. We return to the layout view and we run the function that reduces the dispersion of the length of the virtual bones represented by the markers. It takes some time because it analyzes all the frames. After it is finished, we see that now that elastic effect is no longer present. What you can appreciate is a smoother movement, but it has lost details. This is because you filter both the correct and incorrect fast movements. This is highlighted even more with the 1 Hz cutoff frequency we used. So that was the way to apply the filter manually. Now we are going to see how to apply the filter with a function of the add-on. First, we undo the changes. Here is the function we will use. The interface is divided into sections of the body. The core sections are the hip center, trunk center, and neck markers. The arms are elbow and shoulder. Hands is only the wrist marker. Fingers section are the obviously the finger markers. Legs are hips and knees. And lastly, the feet are the ankle, the heel, and the index toe. The second and third columns are the global and local cutoff frequencies respectively. Using the global frequency is the same as manually applying the blender filter to that group of markers. It selects all the markers of the sections and applies the filter as we just did. Here you can select the frequency, we put the same as before, and apply the filter. It also takes a bit of time because after applying the filter, it automatically runs the reduce dispersion method. Now it finished, and the result is similar. With this we can set different frequencies. For example, we can put 4 Hz in the leg section, and 6 in the feet. This can be a little bit faster than doing it manually. Well, Let's undo this, and let's check the local frequency option. This filter option does not use the Blender filter. It occupies a Python filter, and it is named local, because it is applied on the marker's distance to an origin defined by another marker. In the case of the fingers, it is done based on the positions of the markers in relation to the wrist. This marker is set in the parameter of the fourth column. So we apply the filter. The idea of this is to not filter out fast movements on the global level, but to filter quick abnormal keyframes that are not part of the general movement. There you can see that it is also softened. Have in mind that using a cutoff frequency of 1 Hz is quite restrictive, both at global and local levels. It loses a lot of detail, so it is not so advisable. The idea is to try different frequencies. Of course, Remember that this is an experimental feature so you can see if it is useful to you. Or is better to apply the filter manually. And apply it only to selected portions of the curves by looking at the graph editor. This because the add-on filters are applied to all the section curves and to all the keyframes of the curves. For example here if you do it manually, you can choose a section of the curve that has problems. And only apply the filter to that section. Well, that was the tutorial. Next you can see some examples of different applications 
of the filter to the same capture, using different frequencies and different section combinations.